Hey guys, I'm Merrick and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a tag video from Isabel at Isabel Style talking about if we were to start our collection over today from scratch, what are the first 10 things that we would buy? So if you're interested in hearing more about my thoughts on that, then keep on watching. I'm approaching this video in how I started my collection. So um, I'm sort of progressing from sort of smaller to bigger items. So you don't have to go in my order at all, but these are just the 10 things that I would start with. So number one is a small leather good or an SLG. So I think there are two good options for those and I have them both here with me. I have my card holder, um, which is really good because it holds cards. You can stick some cash in the top. I really love using this. And then the other thing is the Louis Vuitton key pouch. Now, if I had to only choose one, I mean, obviously I do use both of these, but if I could only choose one, I would go with this Louis Vuitton key pouch for the main purpose that I can then hold my car key. Um, so instead of having to hold my keys in one hand, my card holder in the other, I can connect everything together. And it's really easy um, to keep bills, cards, a little bit of coin if you have that um, in this small other good. And then I have the um, Vivian one from the 2022 Christmas collection and <laughs> she's so adorable. I also have this in the Damier Azure color um, but I'm currently using this one and I just I love this. So if you are looking for your first small other good I would recommend the key pouch or a card holder. The second item I would recommend are a good pair of designer sunglasses. So these are the Celine ones that I purchased last year. Um, they are ultra glam. I mean, any time that I'm wearing these, I just feel like a movie star and it's sunny a lot. So you're going to need sunglasses at some point. So these are my second recommendation. They don't break the bank, but also you can use them all the time. So another way to get down cost per wear, but I love these Celine ones. Um, most designer houses have really beautiful sunglasses, so just find one that fits you know, the shape of your face and gives you the vibe that you want, and I think they're a great purchase. The third item I would recommend would be your everyday bags. So my example of this is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 Bandolier. I think this is such a great everyday bag because it is coated canvas, treated leather. So you can use this in rain, you can use this in sunshine and snow, and the bag's not going to get damaged. It has a lot of capacity, even though it's a smaller sized bag, you can fit a water bottle, an umbrella, you can fit a large size wallet, your phone, your keys, you can fit a Kindle in here, you can fit everything you could need for a daily basis. It's a great bag for travel. And so I think your next purchase should be something you can use every day all the time. And then inside you can keep your small leather goods and you can keep your sunglasses. So that'd be my next recommendation. There are a bunch of different styles of bags out there that could fit this everyday bag category. This is just the one that I have, but I know there are other popular versions. I know in Isabel's um, her video, she recommends the Chloe Woody tote, which is adorable. Um, but this is the one that I have. So I love this one. The next you're going to want a bag that you can use to transition easily from day to night. So the bag that I recommend in this category is the YSL Mini Lou camera bag. This bag is one of those perfect bags that you can easily throw on with a casual outfit, goes cross body, it fits basically only your essentials like phone wallet keys, a lipstick, hand sanitizer, but sunglasses probably without your case. Um, but you know, it still has relatively good ca um, good capacity. There is card holder slots in the back, so you don't have to bring your card holder, which can be really helpful in saving space. I do have a full review video on this bag. Actually, I have review videos on small other, my small other goods and my Louis Vuitton uh, Speedy and also this bag. I'll link um, those videos down below so you can check those out if you want. But this bag is great to transition from day to night. I think it can work, you know, if you need to go to an evening event, if the bag's small enough, to where you can make it work. It has a really beautiful substantial gold chain. So it's heavy, it's really nice. The color of gold is very beautiful and it's just a really nice bag. It's also one of those, it does have a logo on it, um, but the back side has a little pocket. It doesn't have a logo. So if you're wanting to be a little bit more discreet, you could always flip the bag over if you're feeling you know, safety issues or you just don't want a logo. Um, but this bag is really great for day to night. Another bag that if you have a little bit more 
room in your budget. Uh, one that I think is really great is the Chanel mini rectangular flap. I think, I mean, that bag is like one of my dream wish list bags, uh, but you know, a full-time job, I have to save up for this kind of stuff. So YSL is just a little bit more affordable. Um, still in the grand scheme of things, very luxury price point, but um, a little bit more accessible and also more available than a black Chanel mini flap. Those are nearly impossible to come by anyway, from the boutique at least. Um, but yeah, so the next bag you should get is something you can wear during the daytime, but then also transition it tonight. Looking for that versatility. Now, next up on the list coming in at number five is going to be fine jewelry. So now, you know, you have all of your basic everyday needs, something to use at night, and now we're moving into a little bit of a bigger luxury price point, and that is fine jewelry. So the first piece of fine jewelry I ever bought is uh, my Cartier Just to Include bracelet. I absolutely love it. Um, it's the perfect first piece of jewelry for me. So if you're, you know, you want to get something that's going to work for your lifestyle. So whether you love earrings or necklaces, rings, bracelets. For me, I like to change my earrings out frequently. So I didn't think that'd be a good category for me. Necklaces, I either don't wear one or I have one that I really like that I already had. And rings, I really love, but I've purchased those after. So the first thing I got was this bracelet. And I absolutely love the Cartier Just Include bracelet, mainly because of the fact that it's easily removable. So with my job, I can't always have jewelry on. And so I knew the love bracelet wasn't going to be the right choice for me because when it's on, it's on. And I didn't want the cuff kind. And so, um, yeah, I just, I really love this bracelet. I think it's beautiful. Um, it's really easy to get on and off. You just, I don't think I've ever tried to get it off this way. It's really easy. You just twist and it comes off just really easy. Um, but it's very beautiful, very dainty. Um, I got the one that has diamonds just because I mean, why not? I love diamonds. So um, find the piece of jewelry that fits you, your skin tone, your lifestyle, and something that you can wear every single day, or at least most of the days. And then you get your cost per wear. Every time you look down, you see it sparkle and you just, you love it. So find the right piece of jewelry that fits your lifestyle. For me, it was this, and then that can be your fifth thing. So coming in at number six, going to be luxury heels. So the heels that I went with first are my ultimate Princess Cinderella heels, and that are these beautiful Manolo Blahnik Hank Easy's. They're in the neutral satin, and they just have these absolutely beautiful jewels on the toe. I love these so much. They're so comfortable. They're so beautiful, and I wear them. I've worn them to multiple weddings and events out. I just try to wear them whenever I can because they are absolutely stunning. I haven't done a full review on these. I've had these for over over a year. They're kind of getting a little gross, so oh. Um, but the outside, like the satin for the wear and tear, you know, I was really nervous about wearing them a lot just because of how easily damaged. I did get a little pull um, here on the satin after wearing them, you know, multiple times. But I mean, I wear these out on the dance floor at weddings for hours and they really have maintained really good shape. So I highly recommend these specific ones. I think they're so beautiful. Any of the colors, I really, I mean, I even want to add another pair to my collection, which I really don't have any use for, but I would just like to look at them. They're so beautiful. So if you're looking for a beautiful pair of heels to wear for special occasions, I highly recommend these Manolo Blahniks. They're beautiful. And then for number seven, you know, we can't always be walking around in high heels every day, even though, you know, maybe we all wish we could. But my next recommendation is a pair of comfort shoes. So for me, I went with these Chanel Espadrilles. I think these are some one of the most beautiful and most comfortable shoes that I have. The leather is so soft and so plush, even though it's they're kind of a stiff shoe because they're an espadrille, they're really not painful to walk in. There's no arch support at all. So if you need that, then these would not be good for you. But I really love these because I feel like you can dress them down, but you can also somewhat dress them up and wear wear them with dresses and skirts. And they're just, they're just beautiful. I also love that they're a little bit more low key with the tone on tone double C's there. 
Um, so they don't scream Chanel unless someone's really looking at your feet. Um, so I really like that about them. Um, another good comfort shoe option are um, sneakers. A lot of the houses have really cute, good sneaker options. So it just kind of depends on your style and how you like to dress. But I personally love these and would definitely recommend them. For number eight, I'm starting to get into the luxury accessories. So I would recommend a nice luxury belt. So the first belt I purchased was this beautiful Hermes Kelly belt. What I love about it is that, I mean, it's the beautiful tan gold color with gold hardware. I love this Kelly buckle um, because it really is just kind of a little bit more understated. I mean, if you know Hermes and you know the Kelly, then you'll know this belt buckle. But really, if you if you don't know it and if you're not into Hermes, then you won't if you won't recognize it, it just looks like a really nice belt. It's also completely adjustable, so you can pull it to make it larger, you can push it together to make it smaller, so you can wear it up at your waist, you can wear it more on your hips. I personally think this belt looks better on your waist because it is a little skinny for belt loops, but I've definitely worn it um, through belt loops before um, because why not? Um, so this belt is beautiful. I definitely think it adds a little something extra to dresses, skirts, you know, different outfits that, you know, you can just add a belt. It just elevates the look. It looks really nice. It's something that's not super obviously um, high-end luxury. And, you know, I really, I really love this belt. Then for number nine, we're moving into one of my favorite accessories of all time. And that is a scarf or a shawl. I love them. Call me a scarf lady. I am just obsessed. I have a growing collection. This is my newest shawl that I have. It's the Grand... Um, Theater Nouveau um, shawl from Hermes. Um, it's just, I love these so much. They're beautiful. They're made of cashmere and silk. They're gigantic. So it, they're perfect to wear, um, you know, you can just fold it in the triangle. You can wear it over um, your back like a shawl. If you're, you know, somewhere where you want to keep your shoulders covered, um, you can fold them up into different ways. So you can wear that around your shoulders. You can make it more like a scarf. You can bunched up in the front. Um, I'll insert some pictures of me wearing it in different ways, but it's so versatile. They're so pretty. I have them in several different colors and sizes. I just think they're beautiful. If you're not into really big cashmere shawls and or you live in a really hot climate, then their silks are also really popular. Um, they're beautiful. You can, if you're small enough, you can make, make them into tops, which I think is a really cool uh, multifunctional use. So um, I definitely like to do that whenever it's hot here. Um, just tie it into little tops in different ways. There's a bunch of different YouTube videos out there about how to style those as tops and how to fold and wear these cashmere scarves. I just think they're beautiful. So um, that would be the next thing I would purchase. I'm just probably going to continue purchasing them forever because I just absolutely adore these. So once you have the bags, the shoes, the accessories, then the next thing to step into would be ready to wear. So I'm going to recommend a good coat um, of whatever kind you like, but my recommendation is this beautiful Burberry quilted jacket. I've had this jacket for probably 10 years now, and it still looks like it's in perfect condition. It's so cute with the little cuffs, with the little hint of plaid. It's warm. Um, it's warm for like those good cool days it's not a winter coat so this is not something that I go for in the dead of winter when it's really cold but it is such a fashionable coat it really elevates any outfit you can wear a t-shirt and jeans and this and your little YSL bag you carry your Louis Vuitton you just look so chic so I love it it's really cute under the collar it has a little bit of plaid as well I just think you can't go wrong with a Burberry coat. They also make amazing trench coats, so if that's more your style, but I love this. I think you can't go wrong with a good luxury jacket and it's something that you know you can wear forever. So those were my 10 recommendations of things that I would buy if I had to start my collection over from scratch. So let me know what you think of my suggestions and if you have any alternatives for what I suggested, then definitely leave them in the comments down below. I love to check out new things always. The best thing about luxury is that it truly is a luxury. So it's just so fun to look and see what beautiful things are out there and, you know, saving up for that thrill of just going to get something new, something you can add to your outfits, just something beautiful, understanding 
overstated. So I love talking about luxury. I love doing these videos. So if you have any ideas of things, then leave them in the comments down below. Happy to make new videos for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos on some of the items that I talked about today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out Isabel's main tag video if you haven't seen it before. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!